Hi, um, I'm going to show you today my uh, casual Thanksgiving buffet and what I have planned is to have uh, appetizers and I'm, I'm planning to use a number of recipes from our uh, Master Gardener's Cookbook, Good Time Cooking. And uh, the first thing that I want to show you that I, I, I put two layers of tablecloth because the one tablecloth I wanted to use a lighter color to, uh, so that my autumn colors would uh, be uh, set offset a little bit, you know, to show up a little better. So I put a longer tablecloth underneath to, to cover the floor a little bit. And what I did, um, I put a uh, ribbon of uh, burlap glittery ribbon which I found in a resale shop and when I'm looking for decorating materials that's one of my favorite places to go because you can find partial um, rolls of ribbon and things like that and then I went ahead and uh, I did some uh, my centerpiece is a white pumpkin and then I went ahead and got some grasses from my yard and a friend's yard this this is actually pampas grass but it was way too large for the arrangement that I wanted to make so I had to strip it down quite a bit and then I've got this little curly grass as well and I needed a little pop of color so I I don't have mums in my yard right now so I put a little artificial mum in there and I found something really cute that I thought was a very clever trick uh, you always need to put a little something around you cut your um, flower pot that I planted succulents in, a six inch flower pot. You cut a hole in your pumpkin and you set your six inch flower pot in there. And then I put succulents in it and then I put all these grasses in to fill in. And uh, there's always a little edge that needs hidden. I've got corn silk that I dried here. We had sweet corn one night for dinner. I took the sweet corn, dried the silk, and then I use it as a little cover up around the edge right there. And I got that idea from watching uh, the pumpkin carving shows on TV when they were they were using the corn silk as hair on their jack-o'-lanterns. So I thought that was just the cutest idea ever. So I dried it and there we are. And um, then I want to show you the tree that I made. This is a thankful tree where I just took a branch from my yard. I spray painted white. I didn't want it really solid bright white. I just, so I just did enough to make it like this kind of soft silvery gray. And then I cut out uh, paper, construction paper leaves with little twine ties. And I put a couple on there, but give it to your family as they come in the door and ask them to write what they're thankful for. And then have each member put something on your tree that they're thankful for. Put it in a vase with some uh, nuts or uh, shells or, or uh, that kind of thing to fill it. And then I put, um, I have this beautiful board that my future son-in-law made uh, out of um, maple and I forget what other kind of wood he said. But on these I took pine cones and I cut again the leaves and twine and I put labels of what kind of food I'm going to put on each dish. And this is a charcuterie board. It's going to be a charcuterie board on there with several different kinds of meats and cheeses and some dried fruit or sometimes you can put olives or people even like to have jam or whatever with that. And for the rest of my um, lining up my table I have these candles I got straight highball glasses with straight size and then I put ribbon around I've used an olive colored ribbon and I've glued some acorns on the side of it and then I have um, some electric candles in here but you can put real candles but if you do so just be really careful about this placement of your ribbon and the flames you've got to be really careful about that I do need to let you know about the acorns they have uh, a lot of them anyway contain uh, the larva of the oak weevil so when you bring them into your house you should cook them in your oven at 400 or excuse me 200 degrees for two hours to kill those weevils and I'm sure you've seen the acorns with that little round perfectly round hole that's the weevil crawling out and you sure don't want those around your house so sure be, be sure to bake them in your oven first and then do your crafting with them now I haven't treated these uh, but you can spray them with spray acrylic in order, in order to keep them shiny looking and to uh, keep them for several years if you like um, along the center of my table here. I've spread acorns and hickory nuts. I've sprayed some of my acorns with gold 
paint in order to make them glittery. I've got hickory nuts, and um, uh, what I like are the hickory nuts that still have the shell in them. If you let them dry, they look like this, and then you can keep them for years if, if they're good and dry. And I think they add a nice little touch to your, to your tablescape. I also have some sweet gum balls. I had trouble finding those this year. They apparently haven't fallen yet, and I only could find a few. Then I've also added holly berries along here to uh, add a little color in there. Uh, a couple years ago, I made these pomander balls, and they're an orange, and I took a... Um, uh, zester cut a fancy little swirl pattern in this one. This is a spiral pattern, and then you put whole cloves in there. And if you want to keep them for some time, you put them in a, a bag with some orris, ground orris root, and leave them there uh, for a certain period of time. And you can get directions on how to do that online, and then that will preserve them. These are two years old, I believe, and so that will preserve them for some time. Here I have more of the sweet gum balls I sprayed with a little bit of gold paint. And these are Nandina berries, which I used around the base of my centerpiece to, uh, you know, kind of hide the uh, bottom of the pumpkin. And I don't have a, a Nandina bush on my high, uh, property, but I borrowed some from somebody. And then I've also taken just ordinary leaves and brought them in, put them under a couple of sheets of newspaper and several books, and they dry out really nice. They don't keep the same bright, bright color that they did. They will fade a little bit, but they still add a little bit of a nice touch to your table, a little bit of a, a bright color there. And then I've got um, napkin holders, which I did, um, again, some twine, and I had some uh, wooden ribbon or wooden buttons that I had left from some long ago macrame projects. Remember that? <laughs> and then I went ahead and put some fresh herbs in there. And I've got some, uh, this is rosemary, and this one is uh, oregano. And uh, let's see what else. I, I've got down here a mason jar, which I thought this was a cute idea. I found all these ideas on pretty much on online. Uh, they filled a mason jar, again, with the acorns. I've got, uh, then I've got some vase, what they call vase fill, which I got at the dollar store. And it's little glittery balls, which help add some sparkle and color. And then I had some plastic acorns, which I also found at the dollar store years ago. And then I put a little ribbon in there and a little uh, bit of lemon balm for a little bit of color on that. And that, you know, you may not want that on your table, or you may replace one of the candles with something like this. And um, anyway, so we're going to have a great Thanksgiving party with all of this. And I, like I said, I'm putting that big bowl, I'm going to put the yummy pretzels from our Master Gardener cookbook, because anywhere I've taken those, they go over well. And uh, I hope you enjoy your holiday as much as we're going to enjoy ours. I wanted to also show you this little clump of mushrooms. I found these mushrooms in my yard in the summer, and I just broke it off of the tree it was growing on. I put it in my garage and on a piece of newspaper all summer. It was pretty warm and toasty in there. And this is what I ended up with, this dry, uh, mushroom figure. It doesn't look like much, but you sure could put that in your uh, centerpiece if you wanted, or just lay it among your other things. You could break these little mushrooms apart and put them in with the rest of your arrangement. But anyway, I just want to let you know that this is also an option of something that you might like to add to your, your um, arrangements.